Residents in Niagara Falls say it's a hotbed for illegal activity. In this morning's special assignment, News 4's Jerika Duncan investigates why a small motel in the Cataract City is now the center of controversy. A standoff last March at the Pelican Motel in Niagara Falls caused tempers to flare. And I will do everything I possibly can to get that place closed down. 68th Street neighbors like Stephanie Signorelli have been complaining about the business for months. Because they haven't cared about our well-being, so I don't care about the motel's well-being. That night in March, the elite SWAT team was called into the motel because a woman called 911 claiming a man pulled a gun on her. After a three-and-a-half-hour standoff, 37-year-old Buford Weaver surrendered. Authorities never found a weapon. Because there have been times where there was a gun. So this is... This is an ongoing matter, and this is just going to continue to get worse. And, you know, we can't keep saying, what if, what if. Signorelli had to evacuate her home that night. She was one of many neighbors who claimed authorities had been at this motel several times before. News 4 has learned Niagara Falls police were called to the Pelican Motel almost 50 times in the last year, with calls ranging from domestic violence, larceny, and criminal mischief. Niagara Falls Police Superintendent John Chella is well aware of the problem. The head of code enforcement, Dennis Virtuoso, and I have now targeted that location not only for police enhancement, but for code enhancement. If we're going to repeatedly go to this place as a point of concern uh, before something really tragic happens, yes, if, if he isn't going to improve his environment, then we're going to have to do it for him. The owner, Randall Lau, wasn't available for comment. Two of his employees were. They showed me how they're in the process of fixing up the 15 rooms on this property, including room number 12, where the standoff suspects surrendered. You understand why residents on 68th oh, Street yes, are so upset? Yes. Oh, yes, without a doubt. That's why we're going to put a fence up. We're doing the best we can to clean this place up. It's a new ownership. You know, we don't we can do. You know what, I do think the fence will help because now the people that, the undesirables that do come to this motel to conduct their business won't have that easy opportunity out into the back street. And I hope that they do prosper and, and continue to have a good business, but a business that is good for them and good for the neighborhood. Jerika Duncan, News 4.